Okay, so today's video is going to be how to show everybody to replace Lakeside tattoos if you bought an amazing Spider-Man 238 that did not come with tattoos. So, first of all, my ASM 238 does not have the tattoos, nor does it have the pouch. So, everybody thinks that you have to run and find a Fantastic Four 252. However, you do not. If you look, this is a March print date. This is Spectacular Spider-Man of March. So, tattoo pouch. Only problem, it's ripped in the front. So that doesn't do me any good. Fantastic Four 252, free Lakeshore tattoos, pouch, tab on the other side. So this has what I need. However, almost, almost every single Marvel book printed in March of, I think that was what, 1983, came with the tattoos in them even though it wasn't advertised on the front the only two that was advertised on the front was amazing spider-man fantastic four um but i just showed you my spectacular spider-man does have it in it and there's a number of other books marvel team up that was printed in march of that year that do have the tattoo pouch in it so you can remove them from any of these books they're not specific to book as long as the pouch is in it and it does have the tattoos inside it that will count as being complete. So what I'm going to do next is figure out a way to safely remove the tattoos from my 252 and get, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, my 252 and get them in my Amazing Spider-Man 238. Okay, so I'm not really worried about this book. This is the Fantastic Four. Um, I can basically just rip this staple out and do what I need to do. However, when I'm doing it in a Spider-Man, I'm going to have to be more gentle with that staple so it doesn't look like the staple was removed and put back which is easier said than done i might possibly fail at it but it's worth a try right i don't have the tattoos the book would be incomplete so let's see what i can do all right so with a pair of needle nose pliers i very gently pried those staples up they actually bent up much easier than i thought so now i'm going to try to remove this staple from the cover side. Just one, because it's only held in by one. And slide the tattoo pouch out. Now, you do have to make sure the tattoos are in them. I don't know if you guys could see it, but you see where my finger is. They are right, right here. They are inside that pouch. So once the staple is out, you really want to get this staple straight so when you put it back in it goes in and doesn't damage the pages which in this book i'm not that worried about however this one's going to be for practice before i get to the uh, amazing spider-man 238 okay as you can see the book's upside down now so this is the top staple staple is back in place does not look like i damaged the book and this is the Fantastic Four still. So now I just basically need to gently try to bend these back down to make it look like they were original. Okay, sorry, I had to take it off camera because the camera was in the way of what I was trying to do. But you can see, staples back. Looks as good as it what did when I took it out, but who knows? So now let's try the Spider-Man 238. Okay, so this is the Spider-Man. You can see this top staple has got a little gap in it. I'm going to try to keep it the same when I put it back in. So I'm going to do this off camera for a second. Back this staple out. Try to realign that tattoo thing back in there. And then show you the rest. Okay, so staple is back in. I literally almost had to do that page by page. So now I'm just going to try to bend this back to the way it was when I started with that little bit of that gap. 
in between the uh, staples. So let's give this a shot. Okay, staple is back intact. Tattoo is reinserted. So now I do have a complete book. Obviously, it's going to need a good press, um, but it does have this big chunk of damage there that probably happened when somebody was ripping that um, tattoo pouch out of the book. It probably took a chunk of the cover with it. It's not detached because the staple still goes through half of it, but obviously that's going to knock this book down to probably like a 4.0 or so, but still happy to have it. And I'm going to be very happy to have it complete with a blue label. So I hope you liked today's video on how to replace the lake sh Lakeside uh, Skin Tattoos Pouch and an Amazing Spider-Man 238. I will leave a list of all the books that I know the tattoo pouch comes in in the description. So if you want to know which books they come in, I will have at least 10 or 12 of them in the description. And then uh, obviously, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and like this video and see you guys next time.